What's up gamers? Today we're taking our first trip into Mother Russia with the Khan 39 Marshal. The Khan is the first downloadable content scout in SnowRunner and is arguably one of the best scouts in the game. Sporting permanent four-wheel drive, engageable diff lock and a huge tyre set, this machine is ready to tackle any terrain right from the word go. The Khan 39 Marshal is another of the unlicensed vehicles of SnowRunner based on the 1985 UAZ-3151 Hunter. These Russian military off-roaders have remained a little changed since the UAZ-469 series inception in 1971 and they are still exported to over 80 countries today. The 3151 Hunter sported some much needed modernisation after its first 14 years in production, including an updated power plant to drive the 1.5 ton UAZ over difficult terrain. The upgrade came in the form of a UMZ4218 engine, outputting 93 horsepower and 201 newton metres of torque. The 3151 enjoyed 25 years of military service, finally being retired in 2011 with civilian model production ending in 2013. The Khan 39 has a slightly smaller list of mechanical upgrades than other scouts, mostly owing to the fact that it comes stock with the majority of features you'd find as upgrades. Items like all-wheel drive, diff lock and snorkel are already fitted for you, and the addition of the topside roof rack rounds out this truck's versatility. What is missing is a further suspension upgrade, although its standard kit is more than enough to handle its 44 inch wheel set and gives it ample clearance over most terrains. But not everything is great here. The Khan has a tiny fuel tank at 40 litres following a reduction from 72 in update 1.05, which was actually close to the real world UAZ's 79 litre fuel tank. The Khan also has some trouble in Alaska namely on highways and frozen lakes, owing to it having no snow tyres available. This makes towing trucks on any grade almost impossible, even for lighter scouts. But it can cause some funny mishaps when the wheels turn and the car doesn't. The car's exterior looks great and bears a lot of resemblance to the real world UAZ and the overall bodywork and the styling points like the trapezoid doors. The cosmetics also complement the model but are a little short in number. The Khan comes with a number of body modifications to really transform it into a hefty looking off-roader, with wheel arches, thresholds and spelling errors aside, the unique Hunter bumper set really adding to the feel. The only issue I have is the inclusion of a tow ball in the model design when it's impossible to actually tow any trailers with this truck. Another of the unique additions is the vinyl skin, which comes as part of the Season Pass content giving your Khan a unique, play dirty skin to flaunt out in the world. The handling of the Khan is great, when used appropriately of course. On highways and off-road this truck absolutely flies, but with huge mud tyres and sluggish turning your highway trip can be ended by a loss of grip meeting a telephone pole at 70 km an hour. Off-road it can have similar issues, with its tyres and suspension becoming jelly-like over uneven terrain. But if you take the Khan at a manageable pace through these areas, you're introduced to SnowRunner on easy mode. This highly nimble truck can handle any terrain when fitted with the off-road gearbox, even navigating the bogs of Tamir with little hesitation. Overall, the Khan 39 Marshall is an excellent scout. Being highly capable in all terrains, this machine is well and truly capable of unlocking entire regions on its own, only limited by its tiny fuel tank and the season pass price tag to unlock it. It's a great truck, but it can make the scouting portions of the game a little too easy for my personal taste. So if you enjoyed this look at the Super Scout Khan 39, or just want to see more SnowRunner content, please consider subscribing, and I hope to see you all in Alaska soon.